Camera one ready, switch, on air. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome, from Los Angeles, California, God's smart Alec, Michael Joyner. Thank you. Right, how you doing? Group, you think Mary and Joseph had a picture of Jesus? They showed all their friends. They'd be looking at it, going, "Wow, no matter where you go, he's looking at you." <laughs> Will you please welcome God, smart Alec, Michael Joyner? I was booked at a church not too long ago. They had an evangelist come up after me, and uh, I love evangelists. I really do. I just wish that while they're preaching, they could tell me to turn the person next to me and say stuff. <laughs> Sometimes really dumb stuff, right? Like, turn to your neighbor and say, I'm happy as a pappy. <laughs> I'm happy as a pappy. I'm happy as a pappy. Like, I just did a comedy show for a nursing home, man, I'll tell you. Yeah, they laugh so hard. They want a dry seat in the house, tell you the truth. That was pretty good. Cool. I like to thank the folks from Bananas. They're treating me good. Flew me in first class UPS, so that was nice. Kind of plane uh, Buddy Holly died on. It's the kind they flew me in on here today. So I've been listening to rap music. Everybody's into rap music. I live in LA. I just thought I'd give that a try. And uh, some of it's okay, but I think the gangster rap is dangerous. As a matter of fact, thanks to gangster rap, we have a big problem among teenagers called crack. I'm not talking about the drug. Talk about the way they wear their pants. <laughs> Raising a generation of plumbers for crying out loud. So yeah, I've been living in L.A. going on two years now, and uh, my first week in L.A., I got three parking tickets in a row in one week. It's crazy if you got out-of-state plates. My third parking ticket, I was going to the comedy store in Hollywood. I parked my car, read the sign 50 times. I go in, I come out. I got a ticket because my wheel was not turned towards the curb. On my way home, going down Sunset Boulevard, I see a guy in a G-string carrying a bottle of wine yelling at people. He's okay. <laughs> yeah, I guess he parks straight. I'm the troublemaker. <laughs> well, where do you start with what the women go through? Ladies, any of you married to a snorer? Who's married to a snorer? Yeah, pretty much everyone here. Ladies, isn't it true you can talk to your husbands about it all you want? They don't know what you're talking about. What do you mean I snore? I think I know if I snored. <laughs> but they don't know, because some of them snore so loud they wake themselves up. <laughs> they still don't know. They're like... <clears throat> Honey, wake up, I think there's somebody on the roof. I think they're ripping the shingles off the house. I'm serious, you gonna go check? Now my wife, she doesn't really snore, but every once in a while while she's sleeping, her nostril gets stuck. to the inside of her nose. She turns into this party favor. <laughs> Taxis are pulling up to our house. Sometimes it sounds like a B-52 coming out of the sky. <laughs> Neighbors are in their pajamas following the bomb shelter. I'll tell you, if she's having a really rough night, get all kinds of noises. <laughs> My dog thinks we're going outside. You guys are a nice group, man. I've been traveling a lot doing comedy. I was in Arkansas last week, so good to be back in the United States. Uh, well, I, uh... Are you from Arkansas? <laughs> I asked him and he raised his hand. <laughs> well, I never got to raise my hand in school, so I'd like to do it right now if possible. Put the gun down. I'm just joking with you, man. I'm just joking. What part of Arkansas are you from, sir? Harrison. Where's Harrison? Where's that? Why are you tilting your head there? <laughs> are you, what are you, Rain Man? Oh, definitely from Harrison. Definitely, yeah, definitely Harrison. Of course, of course Little Rock's an hour and a half that way. Because I'm definitely Harrison. Double Y, double Y, definitely got a double Y. You see him telling us how he was, he kept doing this. 
Uh, hey, will you guys get it on video when he beats me up in the parking lot? Because I want to <laughs> make sure I put that on YouTube immediately. That would be great. God bless you for raising your hand, though. At least you have it. What do you do for a living, sir? Yeah, I can tell you from Arkansas, too. Do you hear? They use a little mechanic. Cool, man. You're going to want to get the tape. A lot of truckers like my stuff. That's the kind of stuff... Okay, I'm over here. It's not like TV. I can see you, right? You know that? I talk to him. He starts talking to the person. I could pretty much get ignored at home, sir. I mean, geez, I'm talking to you. He's going to start a conversation with the person next to him. <laughs> I'm done talking to you, man. You done made fun of me five, four, three, whatever. A couple times. Too many times. I'm just... But you know, the stuff God asks us to do, the stuff that God asks us to sacrifice, to give up, you know, the, the things God wants us to do, is all because he wants us to be in a position for him to bless us more. That's all. To help us reach our best destiny in this life and in the next. It's all for our good, not because God just wants you to obey, but it's always for something better he has for us. But you know what? He can't always do that because just like in the Old Testament days when a king, did you know this? In the Old Testament days when a king was going to visit a city, the king would announce his visit in advance to give the townspeople time to make a clear path for that king and his entourage through the mountain areas, you know. And if the king came through and it was a nice clear path, he would come through and stop and he would bestow his blessing on that city. But if the king came through and he found out that there was obstacles in the way and stuff in the way, he would bypass that city and he wouldn't give it its blessing. And that's just how God is with us, man. He wants to, he wants to give us, he wants to promote us. He wants to get us to the next level. He wants to give us the desires of our heart. But sometimes there's stuff in the way and we got to allow God to kind of extract that stuff out of our heart so that he can get in. God bless. Thank you very much. One more time for Michael Joyner! I love the fact that it was clean, and from, you know, clean comedy because I was able to bring the family. How to show tonight? Time. It was awesome. It was hilarious. It was awesome. Absolutely hysterical. Mike's a hoot. We had a great time. <laughs> Loved the humor. It Loved great. it. It was awesome. Had a lot of fun. Very so, funny. You were at the show tonight. What did you think of Michael Joyner and the Clean Comedy Show? It was hilarious. It was. He was just. I fabulous. thought Mike Joyner was a riot. I, I I had to massage my mouth several times just to keep from falling apart. So he was hilarious. The clean Comedy Show tonight. Oh, it was awesome. We did not stop laughing for one minute. It's tremendous. Yeah, I'd really uh, really recommend it to anybody. Anybody it was awesome. What yeah. did you yeah. think? of the uh, Michael Joyner Clean Comedy Show. He's definitely like funnier than Bill Cosby, Jonathan Winters, Robin Williams put together, man. I've never seen anybody as funny as that guy. Now, those, those are some pretty... I would pretty... twice as much to see him. I would pay three times as much. I'd adopt him. Angelina Jolie's already doing it, but I'd adopt him. 